Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is Eniola Lifestyle. So today, y'all, I am going to be showing you guys basically my reverting process. I got a silk press um, recently, um, so I basically wanted to get a trim, all that good stuff. But it's time to go back to, you know, what we was doing before. So if you guys want to see what I do during my reverting process, Stay tuned. So first things first, I am removing all the excess glue from the perimeter of my head. <laughs> I'm basically just trying to wipe all of that off so that I can kind of work with something better. Because I did wear my wigs even with my hair looking like this so i was just really doing whatever um yeah and i just got what i use got to be no i didn't use gold spawn yeah i use gold spawn so that's why it's it's just stuck it's stuck so yeah i'm using alcohol and a piece of cloth and i'm just going in I think I managed to get some of it out, but definitely not all of it, and that's okay. Um, now I'm in the shower, and I'm basically just trying to get my hair to revert. This process kind of felt like I almost felt like it was taking a minute. Um, so yeah, I just I'm just letting the water go through my hair, just so I can get rid of like all the straightening stuff that was put into my hair in the first place. Because I know that the girl. You know she spread like she spread stuff in my hair for sure um so yeah i'm just trying to get all of that product out of my hair just so it can start you know going back to normal i do want to say something though y'all the faces i make in this y'all are gonna have to excuse it because i'm watching this and i'm like oh my god why am i making all these faces <laughs> um but that's besides the point okay as you can see it's already going back to natural that didn't take long at all um or not as long as i guess i was making it seem like um but yeah <laughs> So now I'm just going in with my organics, biotin, and collagen shampoo. I really like this shampoo because um, it does say on, on the bottle that it helps with like texturizing your hair, quote unquote. So it kind of makes my hair feel a little bit softer. So I like that it does that for my hair. Um, also, biotin is really good for your hair. Um, and just in terms of making it look like fuller and thicker and that's what we're going for right now As you can see, I was very, very happy that <laughs> my hair wasn't like burnt out basically because I've definitely had a bad experience with silk press before. I just wanted to give it, you know, another try and everything. Anyway, so I'm right now washing off that shampoo. I am going to do another rinse. So that's kind of why I guess I didn't go as hard in like, um, scrubbing my scalp damn why did i choke up <laughs> scrubbing my scalp even though i i was definitely going in because my scalp was feeling very 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 tender and it needed to be massaged honestly um but yeah i'm gonna do another one but right now i'm just rinsing everything off still trying to get that glue <laughs> off like you know my forehead or the side of my head perimeter of my head all of that uh yeah so we are done with the shampoo process of our hair now we're gonna go ahead and condition but first firstly firstly we're gonna condition with this nice 
hair juice that we're gonna use for our hair. And this, I used um, eggs, I used olive oil, and I used castor oil. So not too much product, but a good enough amount. I'm using eggs because um, of the simple fact that I basically, I'm, start, I'm trying to infuse my roots with better vitamins, seeing that I just cut it and stuff like that. So we want the hair that's gonna grow to grow better and more you know natural and, and just fuller um, yeah so I'm just putting that all around my hair trying to get as much in there as possible y'all um, this thing was so sticky and so messy <laughs> but it's okay wash days we already know wash days are a process anyway so that's nothing new uh, so this is an extra step that we have to take <laughs> Once all of that is done, we're just gonna go ahead and comb it out, comb our hair out with our wide tooth comb, just so we can get as much strands as possible. And as you guys can see, like I guess I'm not I'm not sectioning my hair or anything, mostly because my hair is short. When my hair was a little bit longer, I was sectioning it out, but right now I have you know the leeway to I guess not section as much and still you know be able to get my hair in strand by strand because it's shorter after we finish combing everything you guys we're going to let this sit in for 30 minutes make sure you let it sit in for 30 minutes guys you don't want to do all of this and then just wash it all out because then you're really not getting anything in your hair I wanted to show you guys how much hair basically came out of me combing my hair from doing the little condition thing that I just did and it wasn't a lot usually my hair would shed a whole lot more than that so I'm actually really happy about that uh, that it's not shedding that much so right now I'm just going to cover it I don't have a shower cap or at least I couldn't find it for this video um, so I'm just gonna use a plastic bag um, I washed I did wash this plastic bag before I started because you know the stuff that we've already carried from the from the grocery store and you don't you don't really know what is in there and you don't think these things matter but they really do guys so I'm just putting it in for 30 minutes a few moments later all right and we are back from our commercial break 30 minutes is up and we're just gonna take the plastic bag off and now we're just gonna rinse all of that out so that we can see what we're working with again and then do another conditioning <laughs> don't worry guys i promise we're almost done okay hang in there um you want to make sure again that you really get this process in simply because you've just added so much heat to our hair and we don't want the long lasting effects of what the heat could basically do to our hair So now I'm just going in with my Organics Biotin Conditioner. So I'm using the same um, conditioner that I used shampoo. What? No, I'm using the same type of <laughs> conditioner that I used for shampooing. Same brand, same um, line of everything and all that. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, I'm just going in and I'm applying my conditioner everywhere on my head so I can do a like 
I can do a, a nice comb through and make sure everything is soft and my hair is is, is detangled. Dial on 106. So after using the Y2 comb, as you guys saw in the previous clip, now I'm just going in with my detangling brush and making sure that there are absolutely no snag ends, no, you know, nothing that is going to be of disturbance basically when I'm combing my hair and there's no like actual conditioner in my hair. This brush that I'm using, um, I got it from Walmart. I honestly don't even know the brand, but I absolutely love this brush. It's like separated, like it's almost like fingers. <laughs> it's basically like fingers and um, it just gets in there so well. Like, honestly, I cannot rave about this, like, so much. I'm going to try and find it for you guys because I think you deserve to know. Um, but I feel like if you go to, like, your local grocery store or if you go to, like, your supply store, you're going to find it there. Um, I will try and find something that is similar. If I don't find this one, and drop it in the description for y'all. You're welcome. Our last rinse of the day uh y'all okay so first off I didn't really let this sit for too long I mean I it was there for like a couple of minutes but nothing timed or anything like that I just wanted it to like marinate and just soak in but nothing too serious right so I'm just gonna make sure that everything is out all the products guys all of that product is gone so i just as I rinse as much as i possibly as, as i possibly can um and now you can see guys my hand is literally going through my hair and that is my goal at the end of the day like i need to be able to kind of run my hands through it and i'm not like in pain or something i mean not really tender head tender headed in general um but i know sometimes when i've washed my hair with certain like shampoos and conditioner i still can't like run my hands through it when it's like wet so i can do that with this so that's a thumbs up from me i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the music and i will show you guys what it looks like in its more drier state All right, y'all, we're basically coming to the end of the video. This is what my hair looks like in a more, you know, drier state, not weighed down with water and all that. Um, I am absolutely loving what is going on right now. I'm just glad that I did not get um, burnt, basically. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up make sure you like the video also make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notification bell also comment down below what kind of products you guys would use for your hair because i really would like to know i will catch you guys in my next video bye